Hey guys, what's going on? Um, if you've been keeping up with my videos, you know that I have a collection of uh, genuine leather basketballs. I'll just show, I'll do a quick pan over. And um, this is kind of the one that people have been talking about as being the better version. It's the... Um, UGO model. That's what that says, UGO right there. So what I happen to do is I happen to get a, a actual game used ball, and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that, but it says Pistons right there. I borrowed this from a friend of mine who, I'm not exactly sure how he got it, but um, maybe he bought it off of somebody, but really try to make that clear because this is laser I'm gonna really try to make that clear because that is laser engraved on there not sure if you can see it but it does say Pistons P-I-S-T-O-N-S -S. so this is a Detroit game used ball um, and the serial number on this is CDN and what I've realized is with these game balls they are actually more similar to the shinier ones this is a not a game use ball but it's a game ball and this three letter digit is CAB as in like a taxi cab so these are the game the ball that they actually use in the game, if you can tell, look at the ink, it's it's not embedded into the ball like this ink is. You can kind of hear a texture difference here. Well here, it's right on the surface. Same like here as well. Right on the surface. Um, so these balls, I would actually say that these two are similar. This is the upper deck um, NBA game ball from like, I don't know, 1994 or something? Not exactly sure. But the one with this logo, if you've been looking at my videos, it does have this laser engraved on it. And while that is very visible, I am not sure why this Pistons logo is not so visible. But either way, I just wanted to show this to you guys, and like we've all been thinking that this is the true game ball, the one with no shiny exterior or shiny coating on it. I believe they're actually the shiny ones. So I'm just going to do a little water test to refresh everyone's memory so that they can, you know, they don't have to go and look for my other videos and, and look for it. But uh, yeah, I finally got a game used ball and I just wanted to show some so I have a little vial of water right here and I'm just going to uh, this is the UGO ball so here's the water test alright we will come back to that in a minute here is the game used ball And here's the water test. Now, my friend did not re realize how to take care of one of these balls, so he actually used this outdoors. Um, that's why it looks so crappy. And here is the CAB ball, the cab. And here is the upper deck ball. And then we will go ahead and uh, look at the results of the water test. Alright. So back to ball number one, UGO. U -G -O. That is what watermarks do on it. And of course that's temporary, but you can see that the ball does 
actually absorb the water instead of it just beating off. the Pistons ball, the game ball. Um, this does seem to have absorbed some water, but I believe that's because it's been used outside and what's absorbing the water might be a layer of dust or dirt, something like that. So don't let that fool you. I still believe it's more similar to this ball, the CAB ball. So that is the one that the pros use right there. And as you can tell, the water has not made a mark on there. i um, not sure if you're able to see that, but the water just kind of beat it off because of that shiny surface. I'll also show you the shininess that I'm talking about. And then the Fantasy NBA ball. Um, the water has also beat it off of it. So it has the ball hasn't gotten a chance to absorb it, but you can tell the absorption in some of the lettering. So after the ball is la laser engraved, some of the uh, exposed leather does absorb the water. And then here is the shininess factor that I'm trying to uh, I'll try to illustrate it here real quick. So you can see that although there is some shine here, it's not like a uh, a very focused shine like like right here. Like you can tell like this is definitely a light bulb while this is a very soft glow. Uh, this has more defined borders on the shine and this ball should actually do that as well it has more of a sharp um, shine to it like these right there right there let me see if I shift this over here that makes any difference. I guess it does look like it does have a softer shine to it, but you're just going to have to trust me, it's more like this ball. And this is also uh, the, the letters, the three digit code on this one is CDM. So it is a C series basketball as well. to show you on this ball. There's nothing else special about it. Um, that's pretty much it. These balls are still not a hit with everybody at, on the courts. So, you know, I say if you are that one of those people trying to look for the perfect NBA basketball, which is like that soft leather, like a leather jacket or something like that, you might as well stop the search because these are as good as it gets and believe it or not I know everybody on the court does not like to use these basketballs but these are what the pros use and people just hate to believe that but they don't use something that is very sticky like a Wilson Solution or Evolution or you know anything like that they actually use these hard as a rock and that might be why they call it a rock but hard as a rock and somewhat slick basketballs that people think are very cheap like the average uh, layman would think is cheap however these are what they actually use so hopefully that puts that um, I don't know myth to bed whatever that belief but uh, game used basketball right there hope you saw the uh, laser engraving is very faint but it is there and uh, hopefully you guys like this video take it easy Hey guys, what's going on? Um, if you've been keeping up with my videos, you know that I have a collection of uh, genuine leather basketballs. I'll just show, I'll do a quick pan over. And um, this is kind of the one that people have been talking about as being the better version. It's the um, UGO model. That's what that says, UGO right there. So what I happen to do is I happen to get a 
a actual game use ball and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that but it says pistons right there I borrowed this from a friend of mine who I'm not exactly sure how he got it but um, maybe he bought it off of somebody but 